Ezekiel 47 and 10, all right? He says, now afterward, he brought me again to the door of the house or the temple of God, and behold, waters issued out from under the threshold of the house, eastward, and for the forefront of the house stood toward the east, and the waters came down from under the right side of the house and at the south side of the altar. Mm -hmm. Then brought he me out of the way of the gate northward and led me about the way without uh, unto the utter gate by the way, and he looked eastward, and behold, there ran out water on the right side. Amen. Glory to God. And when the man <laughs> that had the line in his hand, he measured it. Amen. He went forth eastward. He measured a thousand cubits. And look what happened. And the water brought uh, me through. And, and he brought me through the water. And look where the water is. The water is now where? At the ankle. Amen. Verse 4. The Bible said, and he measured another thousand and brought me to the water. Where the water at now? The water's to these. Amen. And he measured a thousand and brought me through the water. Uh, and now where's the water? The water's up to my loins, up my thighs. Amen. Verse 5. Afterward, look what he's doing. He measured and look what's happened to the water. Now it's a river that I could not pass over and the waters were risen and the waters to swim in and the river could not be passed over. What's going on here? Verse 6. And he said unto me, look what he says. Son of man, have y'all seen, have you seen this? Look at your name say, have you seen this? That's what God said, did you see this? He says, then he, brought, then he brought me and caused me to return to the brink of the river. Amen. And look what he saw. And now when I turned, behold, on the banks of the river were what? Many trees on the side and on the other side. Amen. And on the other. And then he said, these waters issue out toward the east country and go down into the desert and go into the sea, which being brought forth into the sea, the waters shall be healed. Amen. The waters shall be healed. And it shall come to pass that everything that liveth, which moveth, whether so over the river shall come, what happened? Shall live. And there shall be a very great multitude of fish, because these waters shall come thither, for they shall be healed, and everything shall live whether the river cometh. Amen. And verse 10, and it shall come to pass that the fishers shall stand upon it in Engedi and in Galeum, uh, uh, and they shall be a, a place. <laughs> oh Lord, there shall be a they, they shall be a place to spread forth nets and their fish shall be according to their kind and as the fish of the great sea exceeding many. Now, what is this prophecy? This prophecy is the move of the Holy Ghost on Pentecost. This is God prophesying, saying that the, uh, this, this water, amen, is the water of the Holy Ghost, amen, that's going to take the message of Jesus Christ that folk going to be healed wherever it goes. Amen. And that, and so what happened on Pentecost? The Bible, we, we saw it. Amen. That 17 nations and regions heard, uh, amen, uh, the, uh, 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 one message, the wondrous works of God. And what do we know? We know what happened. Amen. 3,000 people gave their heart to the Lord. Come on, thank God right now in Jesus' name. Amen. So you're seeing that prophetic word. Amen. Those trees, trees represent humanity, trees of righteousness. Amen. Uh, uh, those fissures. Amen. The, uh, the trees of righteousness, those cornerstones, those apostles. Amen. And, and going to create fissures. Amen. That's going to reel in folks of their kind. Are y'all hearing this? Amen. And he said it's going to be multitudes. He's prophesying, amen, of the power of the Spirit that will go forth from Pentecost that will go throughout all of the world. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, how many of you know what God says he's going to do? 
and what he speaks, he's bringing it to pass. Amen. Praise the Lord. So when, so when Peter, amen, and, 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 and John then begin to move, uh, sister, uh, 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 was prophesying this morning, uh, uh Belinda was prophesying. I said, now how's she going to preach my message? <laughs> Y'all know it ain't one Holy Ghost, right? Amen, ain't one. Praise the Lord. He didn't give it only to me. Amen. So when Peter, oh my God, watch this. So when Peter and John here now, now you understand, God is creating something that does not exist. We, we think when we read the Bible, unfortunately, we read the Bible like, uh, when we read the Bible, uh, sometimes, especially when we're talking about the church and different things, we, we think it's just like it is now. No, there was no such thing as organized church. People were an assembly. Amen. They were assembled uh, by faith. They were assembled believing in the same thing. They were assembled in one another's houses. They were assembled in places they could assemble. There was no organized church. There was no organized leaders. There, there was not. Amen. Everything uh, is coming together. Amen. Say it's coming together. Amen. It was coming together. So, 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 the, so the first instance that we see Peter and them going to church, they going like they always had. They going to the temple. They're going like they always had. And, and, and at the temple, amen, there's a man that everybody's familiar with, and that man is begging. And, 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 and the Bible said he looked at Peter and, and, and them, and, and Peter and John, and and Peter didn't hesitate. He, he was expecting to receive money. Are y'all hearing me? He was expecting to receive money from Peter and John. And Peter said, Peter said, look on us. Did y'all hear that? See, 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 when God, when God, when God instructs you in this hour to shine, don't be shamed, shine. Somebody say shine. So don't be shamed. Say so shine. When the Holy Spirit, when the water of the Spirit of God have washed you, when the blood of Jesus has, has cleansed you and the Holy Ghost is washing you and you feel and, and, and wherever you go, whatever the place God sends you, he says shine. Guess what you should do? Shine. Amen. Peter said, look on us. Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, I give unto thee. Rise up and walk. And the Bible says that when the people saw this man, they were amazed. Why? Because they knew he was, he was, he was, he was, he was, he was uh, 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 lame from his mother's birth. So in other words, he never walked. He was lame, but the Bible says when Peter said, look on us and reached and grabbed him, the Bible said strength came to his feet and his ankle bones that have never worked, that have never walked the floor. And not only is the man walking, but he is leaping and giving glory to God. Somebody ought to thank God right now. Amen in Jesus' name. Are y'all hearing me? Now, everybody should have been happy. But how many of you know everybody wasn't happy? Say, so ain't nobody mad but the devil. <laughs> everybody should have been happy, but not the devil. Why? Because you have already stole about 3,000. You done stole the hearts and the mind of folk that I had. And now you're about to take more ground? That devil go, ho, ho, him. Uh-uh, no way, uh-uh. So what happens? Amen. So right after, amen, the powerful move of God, and God is still moving, what happens? Somebody say opposition and persecution. Persecution and opposition arise, amen, and I want to show you, amen, what they are after. I want to show you what they're after, amen, Let's take a look at Acts chapter 4 and verse 1. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Amen. Here's what they're afraid of. I'm going to look at verse 1 and 2. Bible says, and, 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 and now, now they're before the council. This Peter and John before the council. 
and they and this is a religious council, and they spake unto the people and the priests and the captain of the temple and the Sadducees. They came unto them in verse number two. Uh, amen. Praise the Lord. Now look at their condition. Shouldn't everybody be happy? But look at these religious folk condition. The Bible said they're grieved. They're grieved that they taught the people and preached through Jesus Christ the resurrection of the dead. Come on back to me, y'all. Come on back to me. Do y'all see that? Amen. Praise the Lord. What's happening? They are grieved. See, as I said to you, Satan ain't got no problem with you getting a little bit better. Can, can I help y'all? Let me help y'all. Let me help. Can I tell you something? You know a good habit to do is to go to church. But that don't make him nervous if you ain't going to learn nothing. Because don't forget, Satan took Jesus to church. And, he, and, and if all you want is a position in church, Satan ain't, he, he ain't scared of that. Because he took Jesus and put him in the highest pinnacle. Am I right? So that don't even make him nervous. That don't make him nervous at all. But when you begin, when your heart begin to change, when you begin to see who God is, when you begin to recognize who Jesus is, because that's the power of the Holy Ghost saints, you understand that the miracles of God, the only reason the miracles of God are there to give witness to Jesus? They are signed in the name of Jesus. Now, they're part of our promise when you come to the Lord. But for the sinner, it's a sign, amen, that God is alive, that he's the living God, and that God still saves and God still delivers. I don't know if I got one witness on it. I don't know if I, if I got one. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Amen. But unfortunately, amen, when we're not walking in the spirit, when God begins to use us, we begin to lift ourselves up. But you will know when God is using somebody, why? Because they always humble themselves. Why? Because they understand that I'm moving by the power of God. Are y'all hearing me? And so these folks, they were religious, amen, and they, they wanted positions, and they saw them losing their position because they're losing this people, and so they came against Peter and John. Somebody said, look at that devil. Look at that devil. Glory to God. Amen. So let's take a look, amen, at their plan. Let's take a look at their plan. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Verse 16. Acts 4 and 16. Glory to God. Boy, this is something good right here. Oh, Lord Jesus. I hope y'all ready. I'm, try I'm trying to get you there. So here's what they're plan. Saying, what should we do to these men? For that indeed a notable miracle hath been done by them is manifest to who? To all that dwell in Jerusalem. And we cannot what? We can't deny. But watch what they say in verse 17. They said, but that it what? Spread no further among the people. Let us straightly what? Threaten them. Now do you see what that devil just did to this church? Do you see? He said, so this message spread no further. Y'all get ready to get sick. Threaten them. But here is the part, amen, that I, that, that, that was such a pleasant surprise to me when I began to call different ones, different, and the text different ones text me, there was such a pleasant surprise. You say, what was the pleasant surprise? They were all in faith. I didn't have to pull them in faith. They were already there. I said, what did you say? I want you to look at verse 21. I said, Lord Jesus, see now, See, now this is important. Now this is important. You say, why is it important? Because do you remember what I told this church the following Sunday? I said, something happened in this church this Friday night. I said, this church is not the same. Did y'all remember that? I said, I'm trying to tell you right now. I said, new living word is not the same. And the devil said the same thing. Ah! <laughs> Amen. But the people were in Faith. I want you to take a look at 
verse 29, verse 30, and verse 31. Amen? 29, 30, and 31. So here's what Peter said. Peter said, uh-huh. He said, and now, Lord, behold the threatenings, and grant unto thy servant that with all boldness they may speak thy word. By stretching forth thy hand to heal. And signs and wonders may be done by the name of the holy child Jesus. Watch this. The Bible said that when he had prayed, the place was shaken where they assembled together. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And they spake the word of God with boldness. Do you see what's about to happen in this church? What Satan meant for evil, God is turning for our good. You tried to take me down, but the Lord is picking me up. Are y'all hearing me, saints of God? Hallelujah. It's no longer I that live, but Christ that liveth in me. You ought to thank him right now in the name of Jesus. Why the devil is saying, I'm going to shut you up. No, sir. I'm going to cry all the more in the name. Jesus, the son of David. He messed with the wrong one, didn't he?